Hi, I'm Ted Baldwin. Welcome to InsideLouisianaNews.com. Our guest today is Jim Brown, and I think I'll let him start talking, and I probably won't have to say very much because it's a, <laughs> a lot of fun uh, here. So, uh, uh, Jim, hi. Welcome to our show. Well, Ted, I'm glad to be here with you to have a chance to review uh, some of the things I've done in my career and get focus in Louisiana. You've got people all over the world that watch this site, and as a consequence, there's a fascinating interest in Louisiana. I want to tell you a little bit about my, how I got into politics, but uh, I think it's interesting to show that interest. I do a nationwide radio show, a syndicated show awesome. with the Genesis Communications Network. I do it every Sunday. <clears throat> and uh, I do it. It's a Louisiana show that, that, that talks about national issues from a reflection of this state. And uh, I'm just, uh, it's very interesting to see that the callers I get from coast to coast, from, I get, I have callers from Minneapolis, I, I have several stations in Utah, and they are fascinated by Louisiana. They are fascinated by the food, the New Orleans Saints, they're fascinated by the political culture down here, they're, they're pa fascinated by Cajun music. Uh, so the state has a huge appeal all over the country, and uh, as a consequence, I've just been uh, really surprised. I've lived not in a bubble, but to some degree in Louisiana. I ran for office 10 times. I don't know of anybody in Louisiana that's been uh, in office longer than me. I was a, uh, a public official for 28 years. I'm not that old, and the last time I'm 70, but I, I haven't served since I was 60. So you can see that most of my adult life was involved in being a public official. But my perspective has been within Louisiana. The point I'm making is I am just uh, amazed that there is so much interest in what happens in this state. In recent months, the Gulf oil spill, of course, the fifth anniversary of Katrina. We can go on and on and on, but the country and the world is really interested. One more figure to give you. On my website, and I have a website that is watched worldwide. Uh, I've had like 40,000 new uh, signees just in the last couple of months. 16% of all of my viewers come from China. Can you believe that? 16% of the people that go to my website live in China. And it shows the huge interest in interesting events in the United States. Uh, these people want to learn English, they're studying English, and they're fascinated by our way of life. But can you believe that 16% of my little website in, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, <laughs> comes from China? And by the way, if your uh, viewers want to check out my website, they can go to www.jimbrownusa.com. That's awesome. jimbrownusa.com. They can sign up and get my weekly column, and uh, they'll see parts of this show on the website. So it's really interesting. So I wasn't uh, going away from your question. I said uh, uh, I've been in public life for 28 years. I started off living in a little town called Faraday, Louisiana. Uh, was from St. Louis originally, came to New Orleans to go to Tulane Law School. Uh, before that, I'd gone to the University of North Carolina. I was a basketball player and a track man. Some of the viewers out there may remember Dean Smith, the legendary basketball coach in North Carolina. I was his first recruit that he ever brought to Carolina back in 1959. Didn't end up playing that great. I wasn't that big, no superstar basketball player, but I'm legitimately Dean Smith's first recruit. It's kind of my claim to fame. Went ahead and ran on the United States track team, was a hurdler and a sprinter. A lot of your viewers may remember Bob Hayes, Bullet Bob Hayes, the fastest man in the world who was the wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. I handed off on the American team on the 400 relay to Bob Hayes, so it's my second claim to fame. Uh, and uh, I talked to him just a couple of years ago, about a few weeks before he died, died of, of, uh, of a kidney disease. But in any event, so after politics, I went to law school, married a girl from Faraday, moved to Faraday, and if a lot of our, your viewers may not know where Faraday is, it's right across the river from Natchez, Mississippi, northeast Louisiana. Uh, don't want to get into some of the questions you're going to ask, but a very famous little town, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, a whole lot of shaking going on. I was, uh, he was a client of mine when, as I practiced law. Reverend Jimmy Schweigert out of Baton Rouge, uh, uh, at one point the world's largest viewed evangelist who's had his problems in life like most of us have. He's a Faraday boy. Mickey Gilley was the country singer of the year. Some of the older folks remember Howard K. Smith, the great newscaster on ABC. He's from Faraday. General Claire Chenault, for Fighting Tigers fame, World War II is Faradayite. So my daughter Campbell is very high profile. Most of your viewers out there know of Campbell Brown from CNN and uh, NBC when she was the White House correspondent. So I'm one of the lesser knowns from Faraday, but that was my home. Work on it, though. Right. So that's that's kind of the preview up to when I got into politics. Something in the water up there? <laughs> Uh, a little, little aberration up that way. Uh, nice part of the country. Most of, of the viewers from outside the state will think of South Louisiana. New Orleans is where people think of. But um, uh, Louisiana is, is uh, I talk about being well known, I was over in Thailand 
about uh, two years ago. I'm up on what is called the Golden Triangle, the corner where Burma, Cambodia, and Thailand all meet. It's called the Golden Triangle because traditionally the huge drug trade through that area, very dangerous area. I went up to see the Mekong River because uh, I was fascinated by Vietnam and I wanted to take a, a boat ride down the Mekong River. I'm having lunch, uh, or rather breakfast, at a little, uh, t uh, little uh, restaurant, just grass, uh, grass uh, roof, uh, dirt floor, basic little Thai restaurant. And so the little girl's a karaoke singer. She was singing all these songs, trying to impress me as an American that she knew her English. I said, well, what's your favorite American song? Without missing a beat, she starts singing, You Are My Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, written by, uh, for those of you who don't know, our very famous governor, Governor Jimmy Davis. Uh, and, and Sunshine, by the way, was not his girlfriend. You Are My Sunshine is the state song of Louisiana. The other night, dear, when I lay sleeping, I dreamt I held you in my arms. We all know the great song. Sunshine was Jimmy Davis's horse. <laughs> That's the name of his horse, and the horse is buried right up above Faraday in a little town called Newton, Louisiana. I was a senator from up there, and every time I go up that way, I go by and pay my respects to Sunshine. So. <laughs>